are we making today, Calvin? <laughs> okay, cool. So basic chicken liver pate. Um, my wife, who doesn't like chicken livers, loves the pate, so we're going to make it. It's a great way to just incorporate some of these foods into your diet. And with that, obviously, all the health benefits that comes with it without the um, taste that liver sort of brings, which is not great. So, in order to avoid using seed oils, we're whacking a bit of coconut oil and some butter into the pan. And the you know coconut oil gives a very high flash point, so... It's pretty hot butter, not so much, but the oil and the butter combined together basically keep it from burning and making it taste like you love your food. Whack your onions in there and start to get a sauté. Grab one apple. For some reason, apples just really go well with chicken liver pate. It adds the texture and it adds sweetness and body to it. Now, there are way more effective ways to peel apples than what I'm doing at the moment, and I'd like to take this moment to apologize to all my hotel school teachers for the lack of pre-preparation for this video, but... Uh, Anyway, the apple goes in, fry it with your onions, clean up as you go so that you don't get scalded, and um, yeah, give it a bit of a flick around the pan. Now we're going to add some garlic to this. quick way to do it is just to crush the garlic with the palm of your hand, and this separates the bulbs, and then from there you can just smack them with the blunt end of a knife, um, preferably the blunt end so you don't cut yourself, and then just uh, chop them fine. You don't have to chop them too fine because you know they're going to get blended at the end of the day. Now for your chicken liver. You want to inspect your chicken livers for gallbladders because depending where you're on the world, they don't always care a lot about, you know, removing the little brown green sacks of bitterness that often come with your chicken livers. Chuck them in your pan, toss them about, evenly coat them with all your fats so you don't get hard green spots. And now back to the original audio with this. Bay leaves, wax them in on the frying process, get them stirred up. They actually make the dish, they add so much flavor. Gotta love the bay leaves, and you have to use this hand gesture when you're working with bay leaves because it's, you know, traditional. Let's keep that frying. Grab a domestic cat, just put it in. All right, once your chicken livers are mostly done, you can tell they're still a little bit pink on the inside, but mostly gray on the outside. Got a bit of dry white wine. I'm prone to the savvy or blank. Um, and just basically put enough in to cover half the chicken liver. So if you have a look at the pan with all the smoke and steam, you can see that the chicken livers are simmering. The chicken livers are simmering in white wine. And as you can tell, there is a fair amount of background audio, so I'm switching back to the uh, voice recording because my daughter and uh, her mother and godmother are having fun back there. So, salt and pepper into the white wine and the chicken livers. To this, I'm going to add some rosemary. And, uh, you know, when I'm working with rosemary, I like to rub it in my palm before it goes in, just to sort of break it up a little bit and release those flavors. Obviously, give me a quick stir, make sure everything's moving around. You don't want anything sticking to the bottom of the pan, because if it does, you get brown spots. Cool. To that, add a little bit of cream. Now, you're going to cover everything with the cream, just so that it is covered. Not too much, not too little, but, you know, use a good quality cream for this kind of application, because that fat helps with the emulsification at the end of the day. Mix it about, and listen to the sage wisdom, which I have gleaned over many, many years of practice. It too salty, you've added too much salt. If it doesn't taste salty enough... Add enough salt, if it tastes just right, which this one does, then you're basically going to leave it on a lower heat. Good flame. On a lower heat. And you want this to reduce. So you want the cream and the wine and all the fat to just thicken up. Look at that fat thickening up over there. Beautiful. All right, so if you bring the camera closer and you have a look at the dish, you can see it has reduced a bit. It's got nice and thick and gooey and syrupy, and after that, we literally take it off the heat. I'm going to grab a metal container. One of my oven trays, which is a large surface area, which I am literally just going to pour this stuff into. But this just makes the cooling process which we need to do go so much quicker or just wait for it to cool now the stuff is cool you want it to be cool so it doesn't go grainy first thing you're going to do is pick out your bay leaves because they don't when they blend they go really really bitter the riveting tale that you can hear in the background is about a banana um, 
my daughter loves the story of a banana split that happens in a place. Anyway, so once the pate is cooled, you want to blend it. Now, I attempted to do this in a Nutribullet. A Nutribullet has one big disadvantage to a stick blender, and that is you can't mix the thing about when it is in there. So what you want to do is you want to blend your pate into the finest consistency. If you like it crunchy or clumpy, you can have it clumpy. Once you've blended to your desired consistency, transfer it into a glass jar. Um, there are easier ways to do this, and I'm sure I will discover them one day. But chicken livers are a great source of iron and a whole host of other nutrients. It's a vital thing to add into your diet. I mean, organs are basically the multivitamins of nature, and um, you can make them taste rather decent and really enjoyable. My wife hates the taste of liver, but really loves the taste of my chicken liver pate, TM trademarked. Um, should probably get into something like that. And she enjoys it on crackers, she enjoys it on bread, she whacks a lot of cream cheese in there and enjoys it in many different ways. Like you could say my wife enjoys chicken livers as much as I used to enjoy the rhymes of Dr. Zeus. Um, hope this recipe was informative. If you want any requests, please let me know and uh, eat your livers. They really are tasty if you cook them right.